Hey guys, it's Ray here and welcome back to another video of me reviewing things. So as you have read the title, you already know that I'm going to compare the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. But why these two devices? Because the iPhone 12 mini is actually too small for me, while the other end of the spectrum is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is huge and I generally don't like huge phones. So I'm only left with two options, the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. But the problem is that the iPhone 12 Pro is much more expensive than the iPhone 12. So the question is, is the iPhone 12 Pro worth the extra money or is the iPhone 12 good enough? Okay, so first up, let's talk about the screen size. Both the 12 and the 12 Pro comes with the same 6.1 inch screen, so to me, they have the best size. It's not too small when you want to enjoy watching videos, nor it is too big that you couldn't grip the phone properly without having the fear of you dropping it. And this time, the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro also comes with a really nice OLED display. Because previously, the iPhone 11 comes with an LCD panel, while the iPhone 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max comes with an OLED display. So it is nice to see that both these devices now come with a really nice panel. The iPhone 12 Pro display features a higher typical max brightness than the iPhone 12 at 800 nits versus 625. That means if you're using both of these devices under harsh sunlight, you should see a slight advantage on the iPhone 12 Pro in terms of visibility. But I didn't really notice a difference. I like texting and switching songs while I'm walking from the train station to the office and both these phones felt the same to use. Both screens are able to go super bright and hold a really good contrast ratio even if I'm walking under the sunniest conditions. I can still read messages clearly on both phones without squinting my eyes, which is great. So at this point, I think most of you guys know that the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro comes with a squared off design just like the iPad Air and also the previous generation iPhone SE. The new design makes the phone easier to grip compared to the previous iPhone 11 which comes with a rounded frame. It is also nice to hold and it doesn't slip even if your hands are sweaty. Apple also says that the new iPhone 12 has 4 times drop resistance compared to the iPhone 11. I drop my phone a lot so I'm actually pretty excited to see how this holds up. But one of the main differences between the two is that the iPhone 12 comes with an aluminium band while the iPhone 12 Pro has a glossy stainless steel band. So that is why the iPhone 12 Pro is slightly more heavier than the iPhone 12. The 12 Pro also has a matte finish at the back while the iPhone 12 comes with a glossy finish. But the only problem is that I'm actually quite frustrated with the stainless steel band on the iPhone 12 Pro because it is really hard to clean and there are fingerprints everywhere. I am someone who cleans my phone very often so this is actually quite a big deal for me. Okay, so now let's move on to the performance of the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro. Here, the differences are again almost non-existent. Both these devices are powered by the A14 Bionic chip which is built upon a 5 nanometer manufacturing process. And since Apple don't usually talk about the RAM on their iPhones, we found out that the 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM while the 12 comes with 4 gigs of RAM. However, I didn't notice a difference when it comes to stuff like multitasking. Both phones perform well for a moderate user like me. I also noticed that the battery life of the iPhone 12 Pro is slightly better than the iPhone 12. On a full charge, I got about 6 hours and 45 minutes of screen time on the iPhone 12 Pro, while the iPhone 12 only gave me 6 hours and 50 minutes with a similar usage. So it's really not a big difference, but both phones can last me the whole day. Okay, so here's where the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro have the biggest difference. As you can see at the back, the iPhone 12 had two cameras, while the iPhone 12 Pro comes with three cameras. You also notice that the Pro version comes with an extra module right over here, which is the LiDAR scanner, and I'll talk about that in a bit. So first, let's get the specs out of the way. The iPhone 12 features a dual camera system with a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 12 megapixel wide camera. The iPhone 12 Pro on the other hand has the same exact same wide and ultra wide camera as the iPhone 12, but it has an extra 12 megapixel telephoto camera which is capable of 2x optical zoom. Okay, so here are the differences in terms of its telephoto camera. 
Since the iPhone 12 doesn't have a dedicated telephoto camera, the zoom on the iPhone 12 is done digitally. As you can see here, the iPhone 12 2 times photos are actually quite soft and lacking in detail, while the picture on the iPhone 12 Pro is sharper, especially if you take a look at the word crystal. You can zoom in even further with the iPhone 12 Pro and you will not lose much detail. So that is something to keep in mind when you are going for the iPhone 12 instead of the 12 Pro because you are going to miss out on the telephoto camera. It also has a LiDAR scanner which is nice. But what's a LiDAR scanner? I've actually talked about this on my latest episode of How To What Is With Nick so if you guys haven't checked it out, remember to do so and I'll put the link down in the description box below. Basically, LiDAR scanner brings improvements to low-light photography by improving autofocusing when the lighting is back. LiDAR also helps enhance augmented reality but I'm not going to talk about that because I'm just focusing on the photography benefits. Take a look at these pictures that I've taken during low-light conditions. To be honest, there's not much difference between the two. I actually took these photos in a really dark spot but thanks to night mode, these pictures turn out to be bright and sharp. I also shot some pictures outside of my house when it's dark. For this picture that you are currently looking at, you'll notice that the lens flare on the iPhone 12 Pro is much more significant compared to the iPhone 12. For this scene, I actually tried to angle the camera to minimize the lens flare, but it is still pretty obvious on the iPhone 12 Pro. Lens flares are usually expected when there is bright light exposed to your camera sensor, but it is surprising to see such a big difference between the two identical cameras. Okay, so for the last set of pictures, there is not much difference between the two at first glance but when you start to punch in into the trees above, you will notice that the leaves on the iPhone 12 Pro is slightly brighter than the iPhone 12. But as an overall picture, both of them look really good and the colours are nice and vibrant. So the good news is that both devices have support for Dolby Vision HDR video recording but the only catch is that the iPhone 12 can record Dolby Vision in 4K at 30 frames per second while the iPhone 12 Pro can shoot the format at 4K 60 frames per second. Shooting at this higher frame rate will give you more flexibility to slow down footage in post or produce videos that gives you very smooth motion that doesn't have much motion blur. Here's a quick side-by-side -side video recording between the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro. Oh, and another interesting update is that the iPhone 12 Pro will support Apple Pro Raw. So basically, this is Apple's version of the RAW format which offers more control when you are editing the image in post. But unfortunately, this isn't available in Malaysia just yet so I can't tell you whether this will make a big difference right now. Okay, so now let's talk about the price, shall we? So the iPhone 12 is obviously cheaper than the iPhone 12 Pro but the base model for the iPhone 12 only has 64 gigs, while the iPhone 12 Pro has 128 gigs. So to me, 128 gig is the sweet spot. That means the price difference spec for spec between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro is 800 ringgit. But is it worth 800 ringgit extra? Before I tell you guys which smartphone I'll go for, take a quick guess on which device I will pick if I'm buying it. Okay, got it? So here's my answer. I will go for the iPhone 12 because I'll get almost everything that the iPhone 12 Pro has to offer but I'll save 800 ringgit. Well, except for the telephoto camera but other than that, the experience using both these devices are actually pretty similar. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with both devices this time because like I've mentioned before with the previous iPhone 11 series, it's hard for you to make a decision because the iPhone 11 comes with an LCD panel while the 11 Pro and the Pro Max comes with a nicer OLED panel. But now you have one last thing to consider because both the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro have the same OLED screen. You will also be getting the same software experience which is iOS 14 and if you're familiar with it, you'll know how seamless the whole ecosystem is and of course the quality of the camera is almost similar. But I have to admit, one of the hardest things to choose between the two phones is the design. And I know some of you would definitely fork out more money on the iPhone 12 Pro because it's shiny, has a more premium matte finish at the back and it's like there's some kind of hypnotizing spell on the iPhone 12 Pro that forces you to get this instead of the regular 12. Think of the 800 ringgit that you will save man and also you are probably gonna slap a case on the phone anyway so it doesn't really matter. But on a serious note, I do think that if you're someone who buys the phone just to take videos or if you're a serious mobile photographer, I think that the iPhone 12 Pro is a better option for you. Not only you are able to shoot in 4K 60 frames per second footage, there is also Apple Pro Raw which gives you more control when you're editing your picture. 
But what do you guys think? Will you choose the iPhone 12 Pro or you will just go for the regular iPhone 12 like me? So put them down in the comment section below and I'll definitely check them out. So thank you guys so much for watching the comparison of the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. Remember to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video like this. And yeah, so this is Ray signing off. Bye!